For those of you who have a flight controller like this one, this is the Matek F405 Wingmate for fixed wing aircraft or any other flight controller that uses the same microchip, the STM32 microchip, well, if you have a problem with that flight controller, you know, flashing firmware or it doesn't seem to work properly or not connecting to the USB or something like that, uh, you might consider this solution that I'm going to show you right now. It's very quick and easy. We're going to be using a software from the same people that produces the microchip, the STM32. So the software is called STM32Q Programmer, and this software will be downloaded from the original website. So I'll leave the link in the description below. After you download it, of course, you have to install it. And after you install it, you're ready to go. But first, we need the firmware we're going to upload to our chip. And I'm going to be using Arduino Pilot, but in your case, it could be INF, Betaflight or whatever you're using. So I'll go to the Arduino Pilot firmware releases website. I'll leave the link in the description below and I'll select my firmware version for my specific board. And in this case, I'll be using the Arduino plane with bootloader that hex file. Remember, you need the hex file and that's the file with the binary data that will be uploaded directly to the chip. Now, if you're using INF, Betaflight, or any other configurator like that, just go to the firmware flasher tab and then select your flight controller board and, you know, the firmware and just load firmware online, just like if you were going to flash your, your board. But instead of flashing it, you just click on the file name here. So it says binary. Click on that. And as you see, you can download it. And that way you download your hex file. Now that we have the file that we're going to upload, we go to our software, open it and select USB. And before connecting the board to the USB cable, we hold the boot button and connect the USB cable. And after that, we release the button and that enters in the DFU mode. After that, select the right port and maybe refresh it and click connect. And if it doesn't connect, then there is a problem with your hardware. If it's connected, now you can load the firmware we just downloaded. And then to flash your board, you have to click on download. So that will download the data to your board. After the process is finished, now you can treat the board just like if it was already flashed with the firmware. In my case, I'll go to Mission Planner and connect it as normal and it works perfectly. And that's the fix to a brick board that doesn't connect to the USB or doesn't flash anymore. As long as we're talking about STM32 microchips, which is like 99% of the microchips used in flight controllers. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video. This was short and sweet just for people who needed this help. See you in the next one.